guys know that Facebook has this feature in which if you go over 5,000 friends, you're automatically a public figure. Sorry, is this Taylor Swift? Yeah, I cannot go out tonight. I'm sorry, I know I've turned you down three times, but... I just can't, it's not a possibility tonight, okay? Yeah, right, I wish. But it's been like 10 years since I started on Facebook, and let's just say I haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> Bye. In case you haven't been here before, my name is Alba, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, your every Monday dose of happiness and fun. Now, I've been on social media for a while now, and I, like other people, started on social media through Facebook. And I've been using it for a while now. And I think it's accurate to say that if you've been on Facebook long enough, you've noticed some of these characters. Let's begin with today's video. Number one. The Lovebird. Have you ever seen extensive posts about people's relationships? This person's posts, pictures, comments, everything are about their relationship with someone else. They give you so many updates about their relationship status, it's worse than keeping up with the Kardashians. There's no escape! One day, you'll see pictures of two hands holding each other. Another, you'll see a picture of them kissing. Another day, you'll see long, big posts about how much they love each other. It's not like I'm not happy for you, but I've been single for a while now. Forever. And it's kind of annoying to see all of your cute pictures with this person when I've been single for so long. And I think a lot of people feel this way. And don't even get me started on Valentine's Day. Moving on, someone who's in love and tends to show it a lot on Facebook tends to be like this in real life. Such a beautiful day. It's 95 degrees. I can't wait to go outside and smell the fresh air. You live next to a dumpster and say hello to everyone. It's 6 a.m. Cut it out. Everyone's sleeping. Who are you gonna say hello to? Oh look, my Romeo is waiting for me. Let's post it on Facebook. Two months later when they break up. Love is horrible, horrible, horrible. Number two, the diary writer. <laughs> We've all seen this one. Don't you dare lie to me. This person literally thinks they're some kind of celebrity because they'll make really long posts on Facebook. And I'm sorry, if I have to click the read more blue button on your post, you best believe I ain't reading that. I think this is really what goes through their mind. Oh, I had a great day. Let's put it on Facebook. I had a horrible day. Let's put it on Facebook. I went to a baseball game today. Let's put it on Facebook. My cat died. Let's do it. I gotta think about this one. Nope, Facebook. R.I.P. Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> like I understand, it's freedom of speech and you literally have the right to put whatever you want on social media. But there's also something called self-control, which I don't have, that should put a filter on your brain and prevent you from posting everything that goes through your mind and happens in your life. Some moments in life is best to keep them private. Number three, the controversial confusio. They're the type of people that drop a bomb and then run away. So this is what they'll do. They'll put a controversial topic on Facebook. Then they make some popcorn, sit down and relax, and watch everyone in the comment section kill each other. Yes, Dagoberto, I'm talking to you. I think of these people as a spawn of Satan. Why do I think these people are evil? Because they create fights online on Facebook for their own entertainment. They have nothing better to do. Any type of controversial controversial topic is fair game for them. They'll make you wonder and doubt yourself. Is gravity real? If you get in a pool, are you actually wet? Are colors really the way we see them? Is the sky really blue? SHUT UP! Number four, the selfie addict. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Is this person that literally uploads four selfies a day, every day. It's mostly because they're, they went through a rough patch in their life and now they feel better. For whatever reason, they feel the need to post four times a day. It gets ridiculous with the selfies, like this case. Alba, there's an earthquake. Come on, we have to go, we have to go. Wait, but first, let me take a selfie. What? Hashtag I love my life, earthquake. We have to go. Maybe my last selfie. Bye. Don't make me smack you. 
Number five, this one is literally my favorite one. Grammar police. Oh my gosh. This one is just so hilarious to me. It's usually teachers that do this and I get it. A world without bad grammar is just beautiful. But you have to understand that if you're gonna correct me, please don't do it in public. Send me a message because Facebook has that feature and let me know what I've written wrong so I can correct it. Maybe the person that was reading my post didn't even know it had grammar errors and now thanks to you posting it publicly, they know. So thanks a lot, Captain Obvious. 911, what is your grammar emergency? Hurry up, I'm getting a heart attack and pink eye at the same time. This person he spelled so many words wrong, I can't take it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Holy guacamole, we'll send the grammar police right on its way, ma'am. Don't you worry. Thank you, you're my hero. That's what I think that goes through their mind. My point is, you should respect each other no matter what you do. So yeah! That is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like. Subscribe, because I make new videos every single Monday. Check out my other social media. It's down below in the description box. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all of that stuff is down below. Make sure you check it out. Share with your friends, because sharing is caring, and I need to get the word out, because I've been doing this for three months and no one seems to care. <laughs> Okay. Comment, let me know what you thought about this video. So there's something I need to explain to you guys. From now on, I'll be doing shoutouts every week, every Monday. And these shoutouts, I'll call them fluffy bears. This week's fluffy bear is Leah Lockhart. Leah has a beautiful YouTube channel and I love it. It's in Spanish, but go head over to her channel because it's awesome. She has a lot more subscribers than I do. Thank you so much for your support and for watching my videos. If you want to be my shout out, is be subscribed to my channel and show me love. If you show me love, I'll show you love back. As always, I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you next Monday with more happiness and fun. Bye!